example we just listened to was recorded directly from the SMR output. It highlights the versatility of the two-pass filter mode, which is now the default filter setting for the SMR. Let's take a deeper look at the SMR filter types and explore how the two-pass filter is different from its predecessor. We are listening to the one-pass filter as found on the SMR version 4 and below. Let's switch to the two-pass filter type by doing a full round-trip rotation on the Events Frequency Nudge knob. This works because we are in system mode. Don't worry, we will go back to it. For now, let's just pay close attention to the sound. This is the two-pass filter. Switching back to one pass. Back to two pass. The two pass filter allows to completely isolate its input, in this case, the SMR internal white noise. Its increased resonance also has a clear sine type sound and a nice full range going all the way from rambling sub basses to shimmering highs. Let's listen to various Q knob configurations. What we hear with the Q at 50% highly resembles what we heard on the one pass filter at maximum Q. Indeed, one can think of the two pass filter as a one pass filter with a double Q range. Percussive sounds can also be generated by sending triggers into the input of the two pass filter. Fifty person Q sounds like the one pass filter at maximum Q and can be lowered to get more of the trigger's click as done with the one pass filter. As Q increases past fifty percent, the input trigger click fades away. Past seventy five percent, the filter is so resonant that it swells, which can provide a very interesting AR type sound. The attack release of the swelling filter can then be controlled by playing the Q knob or with an LFO and generate interesting AR modulated sound, which can sound a bit like the reverse effect obtained when switching the direction on a tape player. Two-pass filter is the default setting for the new and updated SMRs. Some people might be nostalgic or simply want a different filter sound. The filter type can be changed from the system mode. Enter the system mode by pressing the rotate button for about 5 seconds. You know the SMR is in system mode when it looks like Kit from Knight Rider. Once in system mode, you can switch back to one pass by doing a full round trip rotation on the odds frequency nudge knob.
Once in one pass mode, two legacy filter types are available. Max Q is the default. A full round trip on the events frequency nudge knob switches to BPRE. The BPRE filter type sounds very natural. It is well suited for wood like percussions. but it doesn't track pitch. The filter type can be saved to the SMR flash memory, along with all the other parameters. Filter type can thus be different between the six available settings slots. Still in system mode, we can see that the less loaded slot was number one. Let's assign a new color scheme for the sake of this example. To do so, turn the rotate button. We will choose green. We can now save our current setting with the BPRE filter type and the green color scheme to the settings slot number 2 by pressing the corresponding lock button for 3 seconds. The SMR emits a quick beep which confirms that the setting slot was saved. Filter types can be switched by recalling memory slots. Go in system mode by pressing the rotate button for about 5 seconds. Lock buttons indicate that memory slot number 2 is currently loaded. Switch to memory slot number one by applying a short press to the corresponding lock button. We just loaded the first memory slot which was saved with the two pass filter and the pink color scheme. 